All right, and welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Deja Vu, Part Six. Um, I'm clicking the wrong buttons to restore my saved game. All right, here we are. We just arrived at uh, the address on some street, West End Street, and let's go in. Let's move. Sorry, I forgot my controls for a second. Because I switched them around so that I could play with one hand. Because that's awesome. It's kind of annoying that you have to open every door you want to go through, even if it's like the door to a hotel. The lobby looks extremely clean. The white pillars add a nice touch. Alright. It's an elevator, but it appears to operate differently. Okay, this is where we use um, the card. I, when I when they said a card with punches in it, I was picturing like, sorry, there's an airplane above me. I was picturing like a card that someone had like punched with like a hole punch, not a punch card. I forgot that this is set in like the 40s. Makes a lot more sense now. It's like a punched card, like, computer punched card. Anyway, the elevator doors swoosh open. It's a swoosh. Um, let's go in. We're going to, uh, Joey Siegel's, uh, apartment here. Penthouse, sorry. Let's go up. Wham! Your hand- okay. Why doesn't that work? Oh, do I have to use the card again inside? Maybe? I guess. I don't know. What would I like to use this on? The thing. You put the pass card in the slot. The elevator door slides shut and begins moving. You have no choice but to go along for the ride. Well, we kind of wanted to go along for the ride, but... The elevator stops and the door slides open. Alright. You're in a penthouse. You instantly feel that the owner of this place is well off. Yeah, well it's it's a penthouse. That that kinda happens. Um there's nothing like a great work of art for inspiration. Alright. It's a big round, well polished mirror. It's a photograph of a very stout looking brunette. On the back, you find an address. 520 South Kedzie in Chicago. Cool, new address. Um, it's a magazine, but you really have no time to read it. Alright, that's fine. It's another magazine. Or maybe it's all one magazine. I don't know. It's a bookshelf filled up with thick encyclopedias and books. Alright, let's snag that picture and let's get out of here. Take the photo. Alright, on to Kudzi Street. After we manage to get through all of this crap. Um, we have to use our card again to get down, which is silly. Uh, somewhere? Here we go. What would you like to use this on? I guess I didn't really need to read that one in a cool voice. The elevator stops and the door opens. Alright, let's go. The elevator is in the lobby. Yes, it is. That's a true statement. You're on the street in front of the apartment. House. Apartment. House. Okay. Let's get back in the cab. You're in the back of the cab. The hack in front seems nervous. That's fine. 
The driver said bluntly, Hey mister, where you wanna go? Kedzie Street, please. The cabbie accelerates. As you arrive at your destination, he looks at the meter and says, Your yard. You owe me 75 cents. Wow, that meter seems to read 75 cents a lot. That's fine. That's why we stacked up on coins at the slot machine. The driver begins counting the fare. One, two, three quarters. Thanks a lot, pal. But apparently we don't tip, because we're too good to tip. It's a bungalow. The garden has grown wild. I don't see a garden. But that's fine. Oh, shit. Open. The door won't open. It must be locked. Now, we don't have a key for this lock. So... We're too cool for that shit. Gun. The door. You pull out the gun. Point it straight ahead. And by straight ahead, we mean slightly off to the left. Pull the trigger. Blam! The lock is gone, so the door is now open. Alright. Solid. You're inside the bungalow. You smell the strong odor of cheap perfume. Hey, I wonder if this is the secretary's house. The bed looks like an army cot. It seems to have been carefully made, perhaps to help tidy up the place. Okay. Cool. It's a gaudy pair of pearl earrings. Alright. It's a nightstand with a drawer in it. Okay. It's a slip of paper with three numbers on it. 33, 24, some other number. It's a small piece of paper with the numbers on it. Okay, one of these is um, the combination to the wall safe in Joey's office. And one of them is useless. I think note four... No. Note 4 is not the one we want. We want Note 3, I think. I don't know. I'll grab them both. And then we'll try them both. Open the desk. Keys and a diary. Let's examine the key 5. It's an unmarked key. Okay. It's a diary with the name Martha on it. There is a bookmark between the pages. Okay. Um, let's see that. Alright, you open the book at the bookmark page. That's, why did we have to open the, that one, whatever. It's a bookmark with the initials JS imprinted on it. Great. How does this help me? I don't understand this. Um, there's a way to actually read the diary, but I don't know. I'll figure that out in a minute. Let's just take them both. And then we're about to be out of here. So, I think that's good for now. Um, we are back outside. We're about to take off. Anyway, uh, you kids have a good one. Uh, I'm Stefan Scott, your YouTube. Uh, cheers.